Back to the polls, uh, to the rest of our stories. The minority in parliament says it will not be intimidated to approve bad government policies, despite the prosecution of some of its members. Former Deputy Finance Minister Dr. Kathy Elato Fulton was today present in court for his role in the procurement of some ambulances by the NDC administration. The case was adjourned after an accused person charged alongside Dr. Fulton failed to show up in court. Minority Chief Rep. Muntaka Mubarak, who led a team of MPs to support Dr. Fawson insists prosecution of NDC MPs will not affect the quest to hold government accountable. Dr. Atufosin was joined in court by a number of his colleagues in parliament, uh, including the minority chief with Muntaka Mubarak, MP for Elembele, uh, Emmanuel Amakufibua, among others. And uh, the minority chief whip says, as far as they are concerned, they believe that he is being intimidated with the aim of weakening the resolve of the minority to hold government accountable. Well, I mean, <laughs> nothing more than uh, vindictiveness, trying to intimidate the the minority out of their difficulties but this is not going to change anything in fact it makes us even more resolute uh, because we know that oh okay the game is to intimidate to frustrate and to think that they can weaken our spirit no they can't in fact they are rather strengthening and gluing us together because you will draw speakers this thing you are bringing out to force into court you are tiding uh, Dominic Eini because of Zwarungu market. That has to do with this assembly. You are bringing uh, uh, Kwesin, criminalizing him when he wrote a letter to a e letter commission before he filed. You are tiding the uh, Akutia MP. You know, you can just see the frustration. And so shameful that they forget that there's a democracy. And unfortunately, this is being led by so called Lenin. So as far as you so are we are concerned, we this is, this, no, but believe me, they are rather strengthening our, our, oh, us, no. because now they are making us even glue together. Now we know that every one of us is in danger. Oh, nice. uh -huh. So it's better we glue together. And I can tell them, they can choose to withdraw all the security that follow all the 137 of us. They can choose to even take all our salary, because they think they are in the executive. But believe me, it is rather going to strengthen us. But they remember, nothing lasts forever. In terms of your numbers in Parliament, I mean, this could potentially there will be court dates. Oh, I mean, I can I can bet you that he will always be in Parliament first before he will come to the court. That one we can we can we can we can show you that he will always be in Parliament before because he's still the representative of his people. He's not going to neglect that responsibility to be in court. He will always be in Parliament before he comes to court. So it is for the court to decide what time they will sit so that he'll be able to participate, play his role as the representative of the people. I don't think any of them. It's more important than the other. Yes, yeah, so he will represent his people before he comes to court. The AG's office had earlier issued a statement indicating that the prosecution of the MPs as a result of crimes that are alleged to have taken place and not the case that they intend to intimidate the minority front. Uh, the case itself did not come off because one other accused person, Seth Amenema, did not show up in court. He is a former chief director at the Ministry of Health. Uh, we understand that he has a condition that requires that he seeks medical attention and so he was not present in court. And so the case was adjourned to the 18th of January 2022 and so that is when the charges will be formally read against the MP you'll be given the opportunity to respond then afterwards the issue of bail will be discussed reporting for joining us on the law court complex my name is Joseph Akable and from here in Kokum Limle in the studio my name is Aisha Brandt.